Hello everyone, joining us on this reading about what is your Twin Flames desire for you. As always, welcome to our channel where we dwell into the mystical realm of Twin Flame journey. I'm Laurentiu, a Master Certified Ascension Coach and your guide for today's energy reading. Don't forget to subscribe to keep in touch for more readings. The first thing that your Twin Flame desires uh, for you is for you to shine your light. Is to really like shine yourself, like show really to the world who you are and what's your gift. You do that by really just doing what you really love to do, doing what you're called to do by God. If it's painting, do painting. If it's singing, do singing. But allow yourself to do the thing that you desire to do, that you feel in your heart brings so much joy to you and can bring so much joy to others. Don't hold it in, because your gift is meant to be shared. Your gift is meant to love others. And of course, first of all, love yourself. Your twin flame really desires you to share your gifts with the world. Don't wait for your twin flame. Your twin flame is just communicating. Just do what you love to do now. Stop focusing so much on me, focus on you. That's how you get to be together with me. The moment when you focus on what you desire and what you have to give to you, the world, you'll be able to come closer together with your twin flame. So take a step back, see what you like to do, see what you really desire to do and what you maybe put down to do because you don't have time, you don't have money, who will listen to you or who will see what you're having to make let go of all of that and just make a choice now to just do what you really desire to do, what you really desire to give to the world. Doing that would not only get you closer to your twin flame, but of course closer to God, plus will help you in your life purpose, will help you to go deeper on it. So that's a, a desire that your twin flame has right now, for you to go deeper in your life purpose. And that's perfectly fine and it's really nice to have this message. So focus on your life purpose, which is what you desire to do and how you desire to love the world. Good. We move on to the next card, which uh, your twin flame communicates with this one that it wants you or it desires you to transform, to change into the person that you desire to be. Again, it seems like your twin flame just communicates, just be you. <laughs> Just do you really the way you desire. And uh, might be here just something about your twin flame just doesn't want you to be something that you're not. To live the way you don't want to live. So receive that from your twin flame and just do what you're supposed to do. Love the way you're supposed to love, the way you desire to love. Therefore, for that, it's needed for you to transform, to change and become the best version of yourself. So are you ready to become the best version of yourself? Say yes in the comments if you are. Because that will really help you to come closer to not just God, but your twin flame as well. But what's the most beautiful thing about that is that basically your twin flame is just saying, just be happy. Be happy now. Not when we are together, but now. You are meant to to enjoy life now, not later. So allow yourself to enjoy your life by doing the things that you really called in your heart to do. Of course, that does not mean go to a casino, spend all your money, no. Or do like uh, pleasures that are just like temporary. It's not about that. It's not about just doing uh, small pleasures that really pass on. It's about you really doing the things that you really desire and gives you pleasure not just for now but for eternity like for example as I was saying earlier just maybe doing a painting or something that you really enjoy and then you feel really proud that you did it even if it's maybe not Picasso or I don't know another uh, bigger artist but like do it because it feels good to you and that will help you to feel a lot more proud of yourself and more confident in yourself in your skills Allow yourself to have that, because that will really take you to the next level, will help you to transform. So 
So allow yourself to transform and become who you are even more. Such a perfect message so far. Really like your twin flame just loves you so much, it seems like. Like with with the first two cards and what they what they got from this and the message so far is just like your twin flame just wants to be happy basically. It's just nothing more than that. And knowing that yeah, you being happy will just bring happiness to everybody. So be happy. We go to the last card. The last card is about science from heaven. So it's about more like uh seems like your twin flame just desires for you to know that this is a sign. This is a sign that yes, you should pursue this. You should do these things that you really desire and you really enjoy to do because that is the right thing to do. So don't wait on any more signs than this. You already know this is the right sign. You already know that this is what you should be doing. So just do it. And this is another important piece of that because uh, when it comes to like signs to wait for a sign, usually it's this thing of like people just waiting. But you shouldn't be waiting because waiting is, is just like a, an excuse to not do anything. So instead of waiting, it's okay if you need to have patience as different in different places because that means you've done everything you could and now you cannot do anything else. That's patience, that's not waiting. But when it comes to uh, waiting, meaning like, oh, I'm waiting for my twin flame to do something or something like, or I know, awaken to see their feelings or all of that, that's waiting. That's not having patience. <laughs> patience will look like I love myself with everything that happens in in our life. And I know right now that there shouldn't be anything stopping us from being together. So therefore, I at the moment, I've healed to what I feel good. There's more to heal, and I know that. And it's not about him or like her, it's about me. But I feel like I need to have some patience with myself to integrate the healing that I've done. Of course, that shouldn't take more than, I know, a week or something like that, <laughs> even less. Uh, and then you just like continue continue going deeper so therefore don't wait take action and another important piece about uh, taking action right now and you know don't wait for other signs is because sometimes we might not feel motivated to do something but not because uh, there is really like a lack of motivation as much as like people think that motivation is just sometimes something that just comes up in your life and you feel good to do it now you do it Yes, sometimes it may come like that. But most of the times, it's not like that. Most of the times, motivation is growing by you doing. In this case, you might need, just need to do what you're called to do right now. And don't wait to feel good about it. Just do it. And that's how you actually allow yourself to access those feelings so you can work through them, heal and transform, so you can do what you really desire to do. Don't wait any longer for anybody else. Do what you desire to do. Don't stop yourself on this journey because your twin flame does not desire you to do that. The moment when you stop and say, I've done all the healing and he has not and he needs to change in order for us to be together, you know that you're waiting. <laughs> so therefore, you're actually not doing anything else than waiting in that moment. Don't wait. Heal. If he doesn't do steps, you're not doing steps. Therefore, you can change that. I choose to do steps right now. Let's see what's the next step. And you do the next step. And that's it. So, overall, just uh, an overview of this uh, communication from your twin flame, what he desires for you or she desires for you, depending if you're a divine masculine or divine feminine, is that desires you to embody your joy by doing what you desire to do and change yourself in a way that supports you becoming the best version of yourself. And don't wait for any other signs than this. But just go and do it because you deserve to do what you love to do. Thank you for joining me in this reading. If you found this reading enlightening, don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel 
for more content like this. And I wish you many blessings on your journey towards your harmonious twin family.